presents underneath the Christmas tree. This one you for my own. You will never know. Make my wish come true. Oh, oh, Christmas is you. Oh, didn't mean to hit that next song. But we'll be right back. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I am going to be doing the All I Want for Christmas tag. And I was tagged by the book Bella. So, without further ado, here we go. Alright, question number one. Who do you want Santa to leave under your tree? Oh, a book character that I want him to leave? Um... I have a couple people. The first one I am gonna really wanna go with is Victor Bale from Fishes because um, I want him to explain a little more about EOs that he's learned from Eli. I don't want Eli under my tree. Eli can stay back with Serena and be good with that but if you give me Victor we could probably have a lot to talk about maybe uh the next one I would also want under my tree just because I'm choosing him and he's one of my new favorite book characters you know I need to finish the rest of that book but shh from what I've read, I really liked him, and that is Kieran, I think I'm saying his name correctly, from The Kings of Ruins. I love his sassiness, and just, oh, I need a little bit more of that in my life, so him and Victor can definitely both be under my tree. I'm <laughs> not too high for once. <laughs> Moving on. Question number two. What character do you want to kiss under the mistletoe? Oh, can I have Darrow from Red Rising? Because that boy, he goes through a lot. I mean, Mustang might have to fight me because she ends up marrying Darrow in the end. But, uh um, sorry Mustang, I'm just going to kiss Darrow and then we're going to move on. Alright, question number three. Write your Christmas list for Santa. What are your top five books you would get? Well, I definitely want the comic book of four mooncakes. I've been keeping my eye out for that one, but some odd reason, whenever I go to places that aren't Barnes & Noble, they don't have it. I really want mooncakes. It sounds super cute and really fast, easy graphic novel to read, so please give me mooncakes. And then, once I finish Skyward by Brandon Sanderson, the I want the sequel to this one, so that's book two. And then, I have a list, actually. Those would be two. I also want Skyweaver, that is to the last Nemesara series, which I... <laughs> Still need to power through the first one, but that's just who I am. So that leaves me at three. And then I really want a gentleman's guide to murder by Victoria Hamilton. It's a thriller book and it sounds really good. So that leaves me at four and I'm spitting all over on my iPod. Who am I? <laughs> and then for five, I am going to have to go with the Saga Volume 3, because I just finished Volume 2, and I really enjoyed it. And, you know, cliffhangers. I don't really like them. The iPod just fell. That was cool. 
<clears throat> All right, so question number four. If Secret Santa at, Hogwart at Hogwarts, what would you receive? I want a magic carpet ride. I, I want a little magic. I want a little bit of Aladdin. So I'm going to definitely go with the flying carpet and seeing a whole new world. And that is a dream to me. Definitely a dream. Alright, question number five. You get to spend a day with the characters from the adaptation from one fandom. Who do you pick? I mm, kind of go classy here. <laughs> well, not really classy, but I want to pick Peter from To All the Boys I Loved Before just to really capture more of him. Because we get Laura edgy inside, but we hardly see much more about Peter Kavinsky. I want more of him and what he thinks and how he feels about Laura Jean and all of the good feels. So I would definitely pick Peter. And those are the reasons why. Alright, question number six. What fictional animal would you want to replace as Rudolph? This one, I am going to pick one of the waivers from Throne of Glass series, the one that Manon rides, because he would make it definitely good Rudolph, and he can fly, so there's that. So I would definitely pick a Brockabos. I probably just butchered that name, but you guys get the chip of what I'm trying to say. I hope. Alright. Question number seven. You invited ten fictional characters to your New Year's Eve party. Who do you pick? Well, who do I pick indeed? Because that list is definitely going to be a fun list. Like I said, I would definitely have Victor Vale and Kieran from The Keens, The Ruin of the Keens, I keep butchering that name wrong, oops. <laughs> I would definitely have Peter Konvitsky, so we have Victor, and we have Kieran, we have Peter. I am gonna invite Katniss because I think we would definitely get along and she can like teach me her ways. That sounds really weird. And then <laughs> I would definitely invite Aelin because <laughs> I need both Katniss and Aelin at my party because that would be rad. <laughs> I, I say rad. Hmm. Oh well. And then I would definitely have Favor as well because we need some girl power up in there besides the boys. So those are the people I would invite and then I would invite oh who else would I invite <laughs> maybe Rysan because Favra probably won't come without him so definitely Rysan uh Darrow uh Severo definitely invite those two because that would be a good party definitely with Severo because he is pretty sassy as well as Kieran, and they would get along spectacularly, I think. And then, last person. <laughs> I'm gonna go with Peta, because he would also probably come with Katniss, and I would want to be friends with all of these people, so that's who I would definitely invite to my party just because yes please all right question number eight what character would make a good Santa I don't know I'm torn between Daryl and Peta Peta has a very good kind heart and so does Daryl so for the heck of it, I'm gonna say both Peta and Darrow because that's who I want as a Santa. So, 
there you guys have it. That was the All I Want for Christmas tag. And if you haven't already done this video and you think it sounds fun and you want to do it, consider yourself tagged. So, yes. <laughs> this was actually a pretty fun video to make. I know it seems a little short, but it was fun. Bittersweet. And I'm hoping to do it again soon. So, that is all I have. So I will catch you guys later because at this point I'm rambling now and yes. So if you guys are new here, go ahead and hit that subscribe button right over here or here, wherever it is down on the screen. Hit the notification bell so you don't miss further videos from me and I will catch you guys in the next one and happy holidays to you all. Bye.